Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I want to do a quick video today, kind of show you something kind of cool with the uh, Groove Wallet um, that I reviewed a few days ago or about a week ago or so. Um, and so I bought something and I wanted to try it out with this wallet to see if it would work or not. And it surprisingly kind of works kind of okay. So, uh, as you can kind of see, you can pop this up right now. No, not much is different, right? So, just normal operation of the wallet. Uh, nothing crazy um, so what I end up getting is one of these credit card um, multi-tools I guess it, it's kind of like a wrench a bottle opener I think it's from a company called lever I wanted to try it out just to see if I can carry a multi-tool in this wallet and if it worked if it would work or not and yeah it does work but there are a slight caveat to it um, and kind of explain that right now but yeah, as you can kind of see, there's there's nothing really different about operating the wallet. Um, I got less cards in here. I think I have about four of the uh, the Hilton hotel cards. Um, but yeah, you kind of don't see anything. But if you saw it a little bit, it popped out a little bit, right? So uh, what I have in here is one of these. Um, so it's the this one's from Lever. There's a bunch of these on the market, different kinds, and they're basically just kind of um, wallet tools. And um, I just wanted—I just wanted to see if one of these would fit and work in the wallet. And in in um, my testing, it does work. So, how the Groove Wallet works? I get just from my perspective. Um, when you have cards in here, um, when you push them up, um, this lever, this little bar here, has like a little lever that goes up like this, which pushes the cards out and kind of fans them out because each of the um, um, the, this bar that goes up like this has different, um, I guess, crevices or different um, flats um, that would kind of, you know, allow the card to fan out like this. And so, and um, so you push up and you bring this the, this uh, casing down. Um, there's this like little um, notch here that kind of opens up. This is what keeps the uh, the card held in place. And then right here, there's like a little bit of, um, I guess like like rubber, a rubber like um, texture point where it kind of pinches the cards in place. So imagine it, there's there's rubber piece right here, and there's this the arm it holds it like this. So it holds the card in place, right? And so um, that's what keeps the card fan out like this from and from from sliding back into the uh, into the wallet when you do that. Uh, so through like just testing and um, trying it out this uh, um, lever piece here it's a little bit thinner smaller than a, than like a regular card and so it doesn't really catch on this uh, the rubber piece on this side right here so when you push up on the wallet it just kind of stays there like it goes it does go up with the um, uh, the front face right here, but it slides back down immediately right after that. So, like as you can kind of see, um, when I push out on this, it just slides back in, right? So you, you don't really see it come out because it's it's a lot heavier. It's about an ounce, and it's skinnier than these um, than these uh, standard size um, you know credit card, hotel room cards, and so it doesn't come out like that. Um, but that's not a really big issue because if you tilt the wallet a little bit while doing this, if you if you did need to access the the card, you can tilt the wallet and do that, and it will actually just kind of come out on its own. It kind of slides in and out like that. But I I also did a wallet shake test kind of thing, and it yeah it it stays in place pretty well. Um, now as long as you're not like violently, you know, tossing your wallet around, um, I don't think you know it's gonna be sliding out on its own. So it. The uh, the the um, retaining re uh, retention mechanism does work well to retain that lever card, and also the rest of this. So overall, it, it definitely brings a bit of a heftier feeling to the uh, the wallet itself when you do have one of these these um, multi tool cards in. Um, I usually only carry four cards that I really use, like you know my ID, my credit card, and stuff like that. And so like I had a, you know about uh, I don't know I want to say about a half a millimeter. Uh, left of space because um, I was only creating four cards, so I just bought one of these just to try it out. And yeah, and it works well. It's also nice so when you pop this up and you're grabbing a card, you know it doesn't pop this entire thing up because sometimes this kind of kind of can kind of look scary. 
to some people it looks like a knife or some sort of like um you know box cutter sort of thing uh but yeah it's it's got no sharp edges so it's like supposedly tsa um approved and um so i mean i plan on um just trying to fly with this honestly and see what that what happens with that um so i mean i like having a multi-tool on me and it's you know, there's there's no sharp edges or anything or anything dangerous on this, so should be able to go through TSA um, easily. Though, don't take my word for it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool to have a, a wallet tool uh, and for it to kind of work with this wallet. Um, it does add a bit of heft to it, though. So let me grab a scale and I'll show you how heavy this thing can get. Let's go ahead and use grams, I think. Uh, so let's turn on my scale here. Hopefully this thing catches. All right, so yeah, it's at um, zero gram. It's on grams right now. So let's just start off with our baseline here. Um, wallet by itself is about 73 grams. Um, and I guess if you want to do ounces, let me switch over to ounce. Uh, about two and a half ounces. Yeah, two and a half ounces. So. Pretty uh, not not too bad. So here is the uh, let's take th oh, six standard cards. Um, that's about an ounce, right? So that's about six standard cards there, about an ounce or so. And you go by grams, about thirty grams. So you know, one ounce is thirty grams for six regular, um, you know, hotel cards, credit cards. Uh, the uh, lever tool, the multi-tool itself. So this one's one of the more skinnier ones. I've seen a couple other ones that are a little bit thicker, a little bit more heavy duty, but I just wanted something that was good enough that wasn't too heavy and too thick. And so I think this this is a decent size. And these I think go about for about 30 bucks or so, so not too expensive. Um, in terms of gram, yeah, about 30 grams, so basically about an ounce. So um, comparatively, they're about um, they're, they're about the same same weight. So, inside of the wallet, um, if you're going to put six cards in there, um, it should come out to be about like three ounces or so. About 130 grams, or sorry, 103 grams. And in terms of ounces, I suspect it's about three ounces or so. Yeah, three and a half ounces or 3.66 ounces. So, um, that's with the, you know, just a regular six cards in here. But let's go ahead and try it with the uh, the tool and uh, let's uh, start off with ounces again so why why is ounces and pounds and weights matter so much because if the, your wallet gets really heavy you can really feel it in your pants especially this type of wallet is kind of meant to be used as your front pocket wallet and so um, it can kind of get lo a little you know you, you can feel it when it's there for sure so with the uh, the four plastic cards plus the um, the lever tool comes out to be about 124 ounces. So that isn't too bad. And oh, sorry, grams, 124 grams. And in, in terms of ounces, comes out to be a little about 4.4 uh, uh, ounces there. So yeah, um, kind of cool. It does add a bit of heft. You can, you can definitely feel it now. Um, it's not too heavy. It's not much more heavier than any other sort of, um, you know, um, similar kind of wallets. Uh, definitely, but you can you can definitely feel it. it you know, it's a, it's it's four ounces in your your pocket. So um, that's the thing. Is like if you don't mind that, then I think this is kind of cool to have. Um, and I'm not really gonna do any reviews on this. This is a pretty simple like. Um, I guess credit card multi-tool so basically it's a ball cap opener right here ball cap opener right here it's got a couple of flat uh, flathead uh, you know flathead screwdriver Phillips head screwdriver at the top it's got a, like a nail plier I mainly use this gonna be using this as a plying you know tool um, because I don't want to use my knives as you know a pry bar and that's gonna damage the, my knives so I, I I wanted to pick up something that that can pry stuff without you know um, that can easily replace if it gets damaged or destroyed. I, you know, I, I don't really care as much. Um, and it's also got like a couple of wrenches. It's got you know your standard uh, bit 
bit wrench here, a couple of other sockets for like, um, you know, imagine my finger as like a screw, I guess. You can kind of measure up and then kind of use the, the tool to kind of twist it. Um, same thing here, use it as kind of like a um, um, way to measure your your bolt sizes and kind of grab the card and twist it. So it's, it's used for kind of light. Uh, you know, assembly and disassembly of like screws and stuff. So I wouldn't use this if you need like a specific torque pound to crank it down with. This is kind of there to help you know tighten down maybe a loose screw on your bicycle or something like that. Uh, but nothing like major heavy duty. Like I would not like use this to crank down a screw that is like you know pivotal for your your car or something like that. Um, I'd rather just use a regular wrench at that point. But this is just there to help. Uh, mainly use as a pry tool. Maybe a screwdriver if you need it um, just kind of neat thing to have and it's also got a ruler on it um, you know which is kind of nice sometimes you do need a ruler to kind of measure out some stuff and I guess it can act as a uh, kind of like a protractor one of those you know things where you can put a pen in pen here and kind of um, or compass I guess um, but yeah um, kind of a neat tool but yeah I just wanted to buy one just to see if it would work in this wallet and how um, you know whether it changes the feel or the operation of the wallet um, if you do do a similar setup to mine's I'd recommend four cards you can maybe squeeze in the fifth card but it, get, it gets a little tight if you try to squeeze in the fifth card like I can try it right now um, so this is five five hotel cards plus the tool so it does slide in um, so there's five cards in there plus the hotel tool but I think it gets a little depending on how thick some of your cards might be it, it may or may not work well like this it's working right now um, you know with five cards plus the tool but um, yeah I'd, I would have to put a very huge asterisk sort of like maybe it would work maybe it won't work uh, if you do do five cards on it but yeah other than that it's kind of cool kind of cool tool to, uh, to have so anyways I think that's it um, hope you guys learned something and uh, Mike's you know some of my from my experiment there and uh, hopefully that helps you to make a informed decision about your purchase. Anyways, see you guys next time.